What's up guys, your boy Gallant Titan here with TGN.TV and today's video guys, it's not going to be a Gallant and Jinx aka BZ contract video it's not going to be a Hunter PvP video although Hunter PvP videos are going to be coming out more uh, he's more gear now, 4.5k resilient so he's definitely more gear than he was before but anyways, this is Dragon Soul 10 man guys this is on my Warrior you guys have never seen any footage from a warrior just because he just hit 85 two weeks ago. I've been gearing him up. I didn't want to make any videos till I was geared. And now he's at 384 eye level. So uh, he's pretty he's pretty geared uh, for PV uh, content. Anyways guys, so this video is it's not going to be covering like everything. Mostly, mostly uh, my point of view, what I'm doing in this fight, what tanks are supposed to do in this fight. Alright, so let's start off with uh, the main thing tanks are going to be doing. So, Marchok has an ability called Crush Armor. It's where he strikes his current target, inflicting 120% normal melee damage and then reducing the target's armor by 10% for 20 seconds. So, that is, that, that, that's a debuff that's going to stack up to 10 times. So, whichever tank is has the main threat, you want to get uh, 3 to 4 stacks and then have the other tank taunt him off you. So then the other tank uh, can get the other stacks and then you just go back and forth taunting. That's that's pretty much what you want to do. Some of his other abilities, the one you just saw was called Black Blood of the Earth with all that, uh, whatever that is, that uh, oozy stuff on the ground, the black stuff. That's where uh, he pretty much inflicts 5,000 nature damage in the 10 man and 25 man. And uh, it does 100% <laughs> every second while players stand this. And uh, it stacks up to 20 times. So if you stand this, you're gonna die. So you want to run behind those little rock pillars, and then you'll be good. You won't die whatsoever. Another build he has is called Stomp, where he just pretty much does a massive stomp. Where you see he raises one leg and just bam hits the floor pretty hard, which does uh, 750,000 physical damage and 10 man, which is what we're in. Uh, looking for a raid and 25 man, it's more damage. And then the two closest players, which are the tanks. Uh, are going to be taking double share of the damage. So we take more damage when he uses ability stomp. Which is why you want to, you can blow some defensive cooldowns if you want. It's not necessary. Uh, if, if you have, if you're pretty geared or, I mean, if you have uh, good healers, a good group and everything. Personally, we don't need it. Alright, so guys, earlier I was talking about the black blood of the earth. This is right here. All this oozing stuff right there, that's that ability. You want to get out that right away, hide behind these rock pillars like we are doing here. It doesn't matter which rock pillars, just make sure you get out of that ooze fast. Like really fast guys. Alright, on to the next building he has, it's called Resonating Crystal. Which, uh, if you saw earlier in the video, it's like these red crystals spawning out to the left of us. You want to have six players go over there and just like stack up on it and then it'll go away. And uh, that ability, it, it lasts for, or it explodes after 12 seconds. And it does uh, massive damage. Well, not too massive damage, but the explosive splits the damage between three random players who are stacking on that. So that's why you want to have six to seven to share the damage. Also, guys, the next ability he has is the last ability is Furious. Uh, at 20% mending health, uh, he becomes pretty much berserks, goes crazy, and increases his attack speed by 30%, and the damage he inflicts uh, is increased by 20%. So that is all of his abilities, guys. So again, what, the main thing you want to worry about as tanks though is first, don't die from the black blood of the earth. That's a little oozy stuff. Don't die in that. That would be stupid. People in your group are going to hate you for that. Do not do that. Next thing you want to, the main, 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 main thing you want to worry about is crush armor. That's the debuff that's going to stack up on you. After 3 or 4 stacks, if you're the other tank, you want to taunt or have whichever tank doesn't have the stacks. Taunt, get aggro. And then uh, as soon as you get 3-4 stacks, the other tank should have no stacks again, and then he taunts back off you. Just go back and forth just like that. And again, uh, once all this oozy stuff comes up, which is from the ability Black Blood of the Earth, you just move out there, and bam. This fight's really simple, guys. So simple. And uh, yeah, had a lot of fun doing it, though. Also, guys, all this I was live streaming. So I live streamed the first, I believe, we only got to like the sixth boss on the airplane. I forgot his name, Blackhorn, I believe, it was something like that. Anyways, guys, uh, so if you want to see this footage, go to my live stream. I live stream on the weekends at twitch.tv slash Galarn. Also, guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. Uh, the next boss will be coming out soon with that video once I get all of it, editing, all that stuff done. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. All right, later, guys.
This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.